So we've learned that seasons are caused by the tilt of the Earth and the changing sun angle across the air. As the sun angle changes across the year, it affects the intensity of sunlight as well as the length of day. And when we talk about sun angle, we're particularly interested in where the sun's rays are vertical, which is to say where on the Earth does the sun appear directly overhead. And it turns out there's only a portion of the Earth where the sun appears to be directly overhead at some point in the year. And that area is known as the tropics, those areas that fall between two lines of latitude, either between the line of Tropic of Cancer, 23.5 degrees north latitude, or 23.5 degrees south latitude, which is known as the Tropic of Capricorn. It's only between these areas that the sun appears vertical at some time during the year. So on the summer solstice, or June solstice, June 21st, we'll find that the sun's vertical rays will strike at 23.5 degrees north latitude. This is as far north as the sun's vertical rays will travel. So on that date, anyone along that line of latitude will experience the sun directly overhead at noon. Fast forward to winter, December 21st on the winter solstice, and now this, the northern hem hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, and the sun's vertical rays are landing along 23.5 degrees south latitude along the Tropic of Capricorn. And again, anyone along that line of latitude on that day will see the sun directly overhead at noon. Anybody north of that line will see the sun slightly lower. Same for anybody south of that line. And in fact, the further away you get from that line, the lower the sun appears to be in the sky at noon on that same day. On the equinoxes, spring or fall, March 21st or September 21st, the sun's vertical rays are right on the equator. So anybody on the equator at zero degrees latitude on that day will see the sun directly overhead. But again, anybody north of that line or south of that line will see the sun slightly lower. And the further north or south you go on that day, the lower the sun appears at noon on that date. So we can actually calculate um, what the sun's angle will be above the horizon for any latitude on Earth for any day. So let's take an example. Let's say that you were interested in knowing the height of the sun above the horizon, the sun angle, for 40 degrees north latitude. So somewhere along this line, which would put us somewhere in, say, Connecticut, you want to know um, how high will the sun be on December 22nd, the winter solstice. Well, we know the latitude. I just told it to you, 40 degrees north. We know the date. We're interested in December 22nd. And now we need to know where the sun's rays are actually vertical. So we've already talked about that. So we know that on the, on the, summer, on the winter solstice, the sun's vertical rays are right on the Tropic of Capricorn at 23.5 degrees south latitude. So kind of far away from where we are. In fact, what we want to know is the distance between this line and that line. And the way that we figure that out is that we add the two latitudes. And we add them because 40 degrees north latitude means that you're 40 degrees north of the equator. It's a measure of distance. Now 23 and a half degrees south means you're 23 and a half degrees south of the equator. So 40 plus 23 and a half, all right, um, is going to give you the full distance, which is going to be 63 and a half degrees of distance between these two lines. The last step is simply to subtract 63 and a half from 90, which will give you 26 and a half, which is the angle of the sun along this line of latitude on December 22nd. So the sun's going to appear pretty low on that date at noon, which isn't too surprising because we, we experience that during our winters. So in order to figure out what the noon sun angle is at any given latitude, there's a few basic steps to follow, which I'll walk through. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find the latitude of the place that you're trying to figure out the noon sun angle for. Secondly, you want to figure out the date that you're interested in. And then you need to find where the sun's rays are vertical, what latitude the sun's rays are vertical on that same date. And then you figure out or calculate the distance in degrees of latitude between the latitude of your place and the latitude where the sun's rays are vertical. And lastly, you subtract that distance um, from that you get from number four from 90, and you have the answer. You have the angle of the sun above the horizon. So let's try an example. So what's the noon sun angle for Salem on the summer solstice? So the first thing we need to figure out is what the latitude is for Salem. So we can figure that in a variety of ways. You can just look that up. It's an easy number to find. You can use Google Earth, Google Maps, Wikipedia, whatever, whatever you can use. It's a pretty easy number. 
Secondly, we want to know, um, we're interested in the summer solstice, and we need to know, well, when is the summer solstice? So we, I've told you that several times, but you can look that up as well. And a typical place to look that up might be an almanac or, or even one of the uh, government science websites like NASA uh, contains a, an almanac or an estimate of when the solstices and equinoxes are. Now we're going to use a new tool, it's called an analemma, to figure out where the sun's vertical rays are on that date. So this is in the back of your textbook, and it's this red ribbon here. So we're going to use this to figure out where the sun's rays are vertical on that given day. So the way that we use it is we look for the month and date that we're interested in first. So we said summer solstice, we figured that was June 21st. So that means that we look along the line, we find June up here, and then look, it's going this way to the right. And we see 20 is somewhere in about right there. Okay. Then we look to the left along the vertical axis, and this is going to tell us the latitude where the sun's rays are vertical, which puts us right about there which should be about 23 and a half degrees north. Okay? And you'll see the N up here. We're also notice that zero starts counting right here and only goes to 23 and a half, with, which is that blue line there. And south, okay, again only because that's where the vertical rays always are only between those two uh, lines of latitude. So we figured out that on June 21st, the sun's vertical rays are at 23 and a half degrees north. So now, now that we know that, we can figure out uh, the rest. So because we're in the same latitude as the sun's vertical rays, rather than adding the two numbers, we're going to subtract them, right? Because we're just looking for the distance between where we are and where the sun's vertical rays are. So 42.5 minus 23.5 gives us 19 degrees. So there's 19 degrees of distance between where we are and where the sun's vertical rays are. Lastly, we just subtract that number from 90, 90 minus 19, gives us 71 degrees, and that tells us that on June 21st, the sun is 71 degrees above the horizon in Salem, and we have our answer.